In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how important this RF bypass capacitor is. I looked up its value and it is a 390 picofarad capacitor. Now I'm going to be using an open chassis and I have this plugged into an isolation transformer. I always have that plugged into an isolation transformer for safety. Here is the bypass capacitor at 390 picofarad capacitor. This is the oscilloscope connection and it is connected to the high side of the volume control. Here is a much closer look at that RF bypass capacitor. And as you can see, I have already cut it open. And that's the way we're going to start the video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at it. And also we're going to hear what it sounds like when it is open like this. And then I'm going to make that connection and then we're going to be able to hear the difference and also see the difference on the scope. Now here's a closer look at that circuit. There's the RF bypass capacitor. This is where the scope is connected on the high side of the volume control. And right here is where I have opened up the circuit and I am going to be closing and opening this circuit so we can see how the radio sounds when it's open and when it is closed the way it's supposed to be. today with the Linux Tools 301. Larry, what can we expect here at the Magic Mile? Well, I think you have to look back at Friday's qualifying, and I think that's always a good indication of what we're going to see. You, you know, you've got two guys starting on the front row today from Stuart Haas, Tony Stewart, and Ryan Newman, of course, on the pole. It's been so long since Ryan sat on the pole. But quite honestly, I don't know, there's a lot of drivers need to get to victory lane, but when you look at those two guys, they're winless in 2011, they're sitting ninth and twelfth in the points. A lot, like a lot of drivers with eight races to go before the chase, those two need to find victory lane today. Can you feel the sense of desperation among some of these teams starting to ratchet up? Well, I think we're seeing it with personnel changes that's being made. If you look at Greg Biffle, who's still well within reach of the top ten in points, but only... Now I'm going to rerun the scope video with the wiring diagram. From this demonstration, you can really see how very important that little RF bypass capacitor is to the proper operation of this AA5 radio. Thanks for watching. <laughs>